Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to the Stealth Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, March 1st. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. The heart of your reading, we have the Three of Swords. A disappointment or a heartbreak? The challenge is judgment in reverse. I get the sense that you give someone chances and that they've broken your heart more than once. The challenge being exercising good judgment. Show me Sagittarius's focus. King of Swords, making wise choices, exercising good judgment. Mm -hmm. Good for you, Sagittarius. That's that's good to see. You want to make the smartest decision for you based on the information you have at the time. Show me what led up to this. Five of Wands reversed. There was a lull in the fighting. There had been problem behavior. Then things got better which is why you decided to give them another chance. They ended up breaking your heart again. I'm not sure exactly in what manner what they did to break your heart. And I'm not even sure that this is breaking up and getting back together. I think it's within the context of a relationship that you remain with the person, but they're just doing something that disappoints you. It, it hurts you. It hurts your heart some sort of bad behavior. All right, we've got a lot here in the energy of your environment. We have the Six of Wands, the Tower, Knight of Swords reversed, Devil in reverse, Three of Wands reversed. This time is different. You've manifested a change. You've been waiting. You've been patient. Spirit is recognizing that. It's time for a, a big change. To remove the obstacle, devil in reverse. To, to stop getting in your own way. And I think this also impacts the person in your life. For them to overcome their self-defeating behavior. Knight of Swords reversed is, I don't need to wait on this anymore. I have enough information to go ahead quickly, and I'm just, I'm going to proceed. Like, I'm going to cut through any red tape. I'm going to hurry through this. Hurry, hurry isn't quite right, they're telling me. It's, it's not, you're not rushing it. You're, they want you to go quickly. They want you to charge ahead. Now this sudden, unexpected divine intervention comes through with really positive connotation of the Six of Wands, like being celebrated, being um, victorious over something. And especially because we have the devil in reverse in this grouping, I'm getting that this is overall a very, a, a huge change. Could be unexpected, definitely feeling like you've won.
Let's see what comes up in the near future. I'll come back and clarify the Three of Swords if need be. I want to give the reading a chance to, to speak at its own pace. We have the Page of Cups in the near future. This is humility. Being very honest about one's emotions. The way that the way that like a four year old is honest about how they feel. Like what I'm getting at is when we grow up, we learn like social skills in well, maybe you don't always say what's in uh, the, the, the unvarnished truth. You don't want to hurt someone else, or maybe you don't want to be hurt, so you guard your heart and you're not totally open and honest about how you feel. We, we learn all of these communication tactics in order to protect ourselves and protect the hearts and lives of others we care about. What I'm getting off of this Page of Cups is that it's a return back to, like, that childlike sharing of just, all right, you know what? I'm just going to tell you everything. Hmm. I suspect that this is both of you, that there's going to be a heart to heart. Show me surprise energy for Sagittarius. Queen of Wands, Six of Cups reversed. This is someone starting to feel a lot better about themselves. I think this is you. Okay, they're giving me energy connecting you outside of the relationship. I'm not sure with whom or in what context, but it's um, it's because you start to look at the, the relationship in a more realistic context. You stop idealizing it. You're not you're no longer looking at it through rose tinted glasses like they'll change. This time will be different. It's like, OK, you know what? Devil in reverse, I'm not going to let them hold hold me back anymore. I've, I'm have i now wondering whether my judgment has been sound. I want to make wise decisions. I want to make smart decisions for myself. And if I'm totally being honest about how I feel, I feel like you've been holding me back. I feel like this is toxic. And we've got to make a sudden drastic change in things. You come out of that feeling very strong. And part of this, the reason for this Queen of Wands energy is that your energy is pulling you towards someone else. I'm not certain whether they've actually presented in your life at that point. You might only feel it as feeling less connected to this person. Like, maybe there's someone else out there better for me. Maybe I've got to stop pinning my hopes on this person that keeps breaking my heart. Hmm. Your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Cups reversed, and the Ten of Wands reversed. How much work am I going to put into something that doesn't matter? 
how long am I going to carry the burden and when am I going to be full, uh, out from under this obligation? I thought this was love, but it doesn't feel like love. My, my heart is just constantly drained. You want to feel better. The end result, we have the King of Cups reversed and the Eight of Swords. This is more of the same. It's, it's escalating the conversation that I sensed with the Page of Cups of... Um, well, maybe you don't actually have the conversation at that point. Maybe it's you getting in touch with your own feelings and preparing to have the conversation because this is more of the same and or an escalation and like a, a final conversation about, listen, this is, <clears throat> this is how it's affecting me negatively, emotionally, and it, I just don't see a solution to this. If I stay, I don't see it working out, so dot, dot, dot. I think you're going to suggest that you break up. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the way it feels is, isn't like, it, it's, it's not harsh whatsoever. It's like, the king of cups just feels broken. It feels like depleted, maybe not broken, broken might not, just depleted is a, a more accurate way to describe the energy I'm feeling. And this might actually just be your resolution in your own heart and mind. It might not be the way you convey it to someone else, but it's like, I just don't see a solution here. Anytime I think about how to address the situation with them, it, it causes me to go in circles in my head. Well, I could do this, but haven't you done that before? And they've shown you to the contrary. Like, the you want to make a wise decision, and I think you're going to come to the conclusion that staying with them makes you feel stuck and depleted emotionally. Show me advice for Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles. You're the one who holds the keys to what you do in your life. It's all in your hands. You've got choices. You've got options. You're not stuck. You're choosing to be there. If you don't want to be there, you can choose to drop that and you'll make room in your life for something else to take its place. As long as you remain engaged with the situation, then your time and energy is literally bound up with that. So consider your options and release what's no longer serving you. Sagittarius, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.